Hello, and welcome to Short Legs on Long Walks with Z Dog and Sophie. Today we're hiking the Jackson Hole, Whitford, and Lawler Lakes Blue Trail Loop, located in the Fort Custer Recreation Area, 5163 Fort Custer Drive, State Highway M96 in Augusta, Michigan. The Fort Custer Recreation Area comprises 3,033 acres, located between Battle Creek and Kalamazoo. The terrain is typical of southern Michigan farm country with second growth forests and remnant areas of old prairie. The area features three lakes, the Kalamazoo River, and an excellent trail system. Originally farmland, the area was acquired by the federal government to establish Camp Custer an introduction and military training center for the U.S. Army during World War II. The land was deeded to the state of Michigan under President Nixon's Legacy of Parks in 1971. With over 25 miles of trails for you to explore, Fort Custer State Recreation Area has one of the best networks of hiking trails that you'll find in the state. You can wander your way through the beautiful second growth forest and walk across the prairies. Visitors in the spring can expect an incredible display of bright wildflowers and those who visit in the fall will enjoy the spectacular colors of the forest turning. No matter what time of year you visit, you'll find dozens of species of birds and mammals populating the park. The Fort Custer Recreation Area is the perfect spot for a little getaway, with camping options for everyone, including equestrian, RV, tent, and group use campsites. Also available are cabins for the modern and rustic outdoorsmen. With multiple boat launches, Fort Custer State Recreation Area is also a great place for boating. You can connect to the Kalamazoo River should you want to canoe or kayak outside the park and explore the surrounding areas. Featuring all these waterways, it's a perfect place for anglers to go explore. You'll find a wide variety of fish species inhabiting the three lakes of the park, including channel catfish, bluegill, bowfin, bass, and carp. If you'd like to try ice fishing in the winter, the park does not guarantee the safety of the ice, so head out onto the lake at your own risk. Parts of the trail today were very icy. It's best to go slow down these long hills. We'd recommend some hiking crampons just to get a little bit more traction. The park's network of trails is also popular with dog sledders. The trails are well maintained in the winter, making for excellent sledding through the forest and around the lakes. If you come during a good cold spell, you may also be able to head out onto one of the frozen lakes, but as always, at your own risk. Unfortunately, there are no rental options for sleds or for dogs, so you have to come equipped with both. This is a state recreation area, which is different from a state park. State parks are usually a thousand acres or less, while recreation areas are typically much larger. Michigan parks are closed to hunting and trapping unless specifically ordered, typically by a director's order. Most of this park is open to hunters, 
but there are certain zones where hunting is prohibited. Consult a park map to make sure you are in bounds. Here is a map of what we hiked for the day. 3.7 miles, 1 hour and 51 minutes. If you enjoyed this video today, please hit that like button for us. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And follow these dogs on Instagram. Thanks for watching and we hope you join us again. You can always watch one of these other videos for more adventures.